This video is going to talk about light. What is light? Hello, welcome to IB Physics Made Easy. In the previous video, we discussed the energy of an atom. What we realized is that when the electron is close to its nucleus, the energy of the atom is low. But if we bring some energy to the atom, the electron goes away from the nucleus, and now the atom has more energy. That's fine, but we ended up with a question. How does the energy can go to the atom? How can it go inside the atom and move the electron? Or, when the electron comes back to the nucleus, the atom is said to release energy. How does it do that? Well, the carrier of the energy is light. So this video is going to talk about light. What is light? So we are very lucky. I have my torch with me. And I'm going to turn it on. I turn on my torch and a beam of light comes out of the torch. What appears to come out is a beam that can diffract and can also refract. So because it can diffract and refract, it actually behaves like a wave. So we're done. Light is a wave. Let's explore that. What happens if I increase the wavelengths, which corresponds to decreasing the energy carried by the wave? The light becomes more red. If I decrease it more, I cannot see it anymore. It's under the visible range. It became infrared. If I continue in this direction by decreasing uh, the energy of the light, well, now it will become microwaves and then further radio waves. If, on the other hand, I make the wavelengths smaller, that is, I increase the frequency, therefore the energy carried by the wave, my light becomes more blue. If I continue, it will become violet. If I go forward and I increase even more the energy, it gets out of the visible range and becomes ultraviolet, then X-ray, then gamma rays. By swifting through this energy range, I've actually uncovered the electromagnetic spectrum. The higher the frequency of the wave or of the light, the higher the energy it carries. OK, so light is a wave. But I have a little doubt, so I'm going to check out my torch again. And this time I'm going to look more closer, uh, more in depth. I'm going to zoom, 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 zoom and see what comes out. And to my surprise, I saw little specks, very shiny little specks of light coming out of the beam. Particles. Hmm? High-level IB students will discover that Einstein found this out a long time ago. He set up the photoelectric uh, experiment and found out about the photoelectric effect. And this effect proves that light is made of particles. These are particles without any mass that carry energy. He called them photons. So, is light a wave or is it a particle? Well, it's both. It has properties of both, so it's both. I, I like to represent a photon this way. Like a tiny wave, but which is confined, which is localized. It helps me to remember that the photon is a particle that also has a frequency because it is also a wave. A wave is energy. So, a photon is a fixed amount of energy that depends on its frequency. This discrete amount of energy is called a quanta of energy. So now, we can understand why an atom can gain or lose energy. It absorbs or emits a photon. A photon is a particle of light. So, it is quantized. But a photon is also a wave, so it has a certain frequency, a certain energy. That's why a photon is called a quanta of energy. 
I hope this video was useful to you and I'll see you soon for our next edition of IB Physics Made Easy.